Tarzan and the Diamond of Asher. <laughs> Tarzan and Darno have followed Tom and Wolf to the audience chamber of the temple of Ma'at Chu. From the shadow of a great pillar they watch as Wolf pries at the golden disc covering the father of diamonds. Abruptly the lid opens. The vast room is filled with a glaring white light which renders the four men powerless to move or speak. Because of this unhuman power, Tarzan is unable to save Wolf from death at the hands of one of the guardian apes. The spell is broken when the German's body falls upon and covers the diamond, and Tarzan kills the monster in defense of Darno. Tom, in trying to find his way back to their quarters, enters the apartment of Tira by mistake and agrees to act as her spy against his companions. Tarzan and Darno, giving up the search for Tom, return to their quarters when they find Magra gone. Thank heaven you been back, Tarzan. They took Magra. She been gone. They? Who? A bunch of those, uh, those hessy herrings. They work up. The room was full of them. Some of them held me. The others took Magra. Home and Wolf been gone, too. But could you not have used your gun? They took it away while they was asleep. They took all the rifles, everything. They busted a couple of their good-looking faces, but they was too many. Where did they take her? I don't know. I didn't understand their lingo. How long ago was this? Mm, half an hour, maybe longer. I don't know. What are we going to do about it? Find her, of course. Now that we know how to open these doors, we can get out and search. Come on. Ah, Momo Tarzan. What could we accomplish by running out there through those many corridors? Even if we found our way out into the open, where would we start to search? Mm, you're right, of course. We've got to get hold of Hakeru. Exactly, Momo. But we must wait for him to come to us. Remember, he said he would return. The lieutenant been right, Tarzan. He don't like it any more than you. But well, we would be caught and locked up in the yiffy. Hey, you see, mon ami, if Akeru refuses to tell us where Magre is, we will force him to lead us to her. Yeah, sure. That been the idea. But they wonder why they took Tom and Wolf and not me. Wolf is dead, Larson. What? That tough Dutchman? How do you know? He was killed before our eyes. And this time, Tarzan could not help him. Wolf? Dead? How, Lieutenant? He and Tom tried to get the diamond. One of the guardian apes got Wolf. And Tom? He got away. Where, we do not know. Wolf been right, then. He knew it was coming. He saw the face. What's that? Wolf knew what was... Saw what face? When we was brought to this place, you remember, Wolf was looking at something just before we came in the temple. Magra said he looked like he was in a trance. Yes. Well? He told me he saw the skeleton head swinging toward him when it was opened. He knew that fiery thing being a warning for him. The death mask, huh? Well, why didn't he tell us? Magra, he didn't want to scare her. The door! Tarzan, the door, it is opening. Yes, I... It's Tom, under God. Ah, you here, Tarzan, and you, Darno? I've been searching for you. After that terrible ape killed poor wolf, You, I... uh, disappeared very suddenly. We know that, Tom. Darno and I tried to find you. 
How did you get back here under guard? While I was searching for you, I ran into those two guards. They brought me here. But I do not see Magra. Where is she? We'd like to know that ourselves. Larson says the Saharians took her while we were in the council chamber. Watching you and Wolf try to steal the diamond. But where did they go? We do not know. We hope to find out when Akiru returns. Uh, if they harm that girl, I shall... Yes, Tom. You will what? Uh, you are right. What can I do? But we must find her. Bring her back. You should have thought of that when you went out and took Wolf to his death. And a horrible death it was. Yes. Had we not gone after that accursed diamond... Exact the moment, Monsieur Tom. But... Tell us, you can open these doors, eh? How is that? The door? <laughs> Akeru was considerate enough to show me. Akeru? Oh, he did not know he was doing so. I observed where he stood and what he did. He placed his hand on a certain stone and the doors opened. Does that answer your question? We, mm, oui, I am satisfied. You thought we were asleep. I wasn't. I watched you. And I'm very glad that you did. Had you been asleep, I would very likely be with poor Wolf at this moment. Meanwhile, through vast, dim corridors and up many flights of stone steps, worn black and smooth by the tread of countless numbers of sandaled, silent feet, Magra and her shadowy, Hesiherian guard have proceeded to a corridor high in the temple. Before a small copper door, they pause. The leader of the escort drops his hand upon a wall stone. The door swings slowly open. Before her, Magra beholds a room barbarically beautiful in furnishings. The Hesiherian steps aside, motions for the young woman to enter. Behind her, the door closes with a soft, metallic clang. Magra! Oh, thank heaven. Magra! Helen! Oh, Why, Helen! We were led to believe that you were not here. Oh, I'm so glad to see you, Magra. Oh, tell me, he's born. There, there, my dear. Oh. Don't cry. We are all here. Lieutenant Darno, Wolf, Larson, and Atantum. No, oh, I knew Paul would come. And Tarzan. But where are they? How is it that you are here? We are captives. Or at least it amounts to the same thing. We were brought here by a man named Hakeru. A hissy heron. Oh, yes, yes, I know Hakeru. Go on. Tarzan looked for you for days when you vanished from your tent that night. We kept on going and found an ancient causeway. Oh, yes, I know. I scratched my name on the wall. We found it. Then we followed a road through the rocky country. Oh, I came over the same road. Oh, it seems such a long time ago. You must have been in Asia before we entered the two in Baka region. Else Tarzan would have found you. You see, he did find a piece of your legging on a leg. I left it there, hoping someone would find it. Well, Tarzan did. Then we were captured by the Hesse Herons and brought here. But why are you here? Here in this room? I do not know. The king, Sutain, I think his name is, had us placed in a chamber. Yes, and then what happened? We went to sleep. When I woke up, there were guards in the room. Our son, Darno, Tom, and Wolf were gone. The Hesiherians overpowered Larson and brought me here. But the others? What's happened to them? I do not know. Probably taken somewhere else separated from each other. I do not know, Helen. But you, my dear, what has happened to you? When I went to our tent that night... I followed you almost immediately, but you were gone. Oh, I stepped into the tent, and something black and soft fell over my face. I guess I fainted. Anyway, when I came to, we were in that causeway. We spent the night there, where you found my name on the wall. They did not... Oh, no, they did not touch me after they put me in the litter. But how their faces... Oh, they frightened me half to death. Those awful mouths. Oh, terrible. And then? Well, they brought me here. King Sutan had me placed in this room, in these clothes. I've not been treated badly, but... But, oh, I'm afraid. Terribly afraid. Afraid, Helen? Of what? Of Tira, the queen. And the king, Sutan. Particularly the king. And your brother, Brian. Have you seen him? No. No, I don't know whether or not he's here. They lead the question, always. But if he is not here... Oh, wait. They evade the question with you as they did with us when we asked about you. He must be here, Helen. Oh, Margaret, I don't know. I don't know. At least you and I are together. 
And we know that the others will move heaven and earth to get out and find us. We must hope for that. I do not think these people mean us, you and I, any harm. Magra, I am not so sure of that. What do you mean? Oh, I don't know. I feel some impending evil hanging over me. I know that very often I am being watched when I think I am alone here. Shh, be quiet. The door's opening. It, it's certain. And Hakiru. I, Sutan of the Hesse hair, greet ye, young women. Art thou, Helen Gregory, not pleased at having thy companion with thee? Yes, I... I am very happy. And thou, Magra? Of course, Hatif Sutan. But uh, our friends, are we not to see them soon again? Yes. <laughs> and very soon. Is it not so, my Hakeru? But come, ye young women, with us. I, Sutan of the Hesse hair, have something to show ye which mayhap will please ye. <laughs> Akeru, open now the doors and lead the way. Where are you taking us, Satap Sutan? To a place ye will be interested in seeing, and the occupant. One of thy friends. Oh, who is it? <laughs> Paul Darno. Tarzan? Atantum? Ye shall see. Here is the chamber. Open, Hakeru. Enter, Helen Gregory, and thou, Magra. Brian! Oh, thank God, I found you. I... I... Brian, don't you know me? It's Helen, your sister. Oh, Magra. Magra, why doesn't he speak? He sits in that chair, staring, staring. Magra! He... Oh, he's 